Brought to you by StationHouseCoffee.com and InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, a Amazon Prime original series. I had watched most of the first season when it came out and loved it. It's about a woman, a housewife, who starts doing comedies set in... The late 50s, 1958, Uh, her husband at the time was uh, doing open mics and she was helping him out and uh, they ended up getting divorced. So she ends up doing comedy because she realized that, you know, she was writing like while her husband was just stealing uh, material from other comedians, uh, she was actually writing her own jokes and she kind of found that she had a knack for it. And bada bing, bada boop, it shows her kind of growth as a comic, which I, from what I know about comedians and how they, they develop as artists, uh, it feels, this feels very true to the struggle uh, where she goes, uh, you know, up on stage uh, a lot to try and like refine her act and try and understand what she wants to talk about and kind of uh, develop her voice. Um, it's also around the time where Lenny Bruce, uh, who's, you know, one of the iconic comedians of the time, uh, started getting arrested for doing his comedy. So it, it, uh, dips into that where she ends up getting arrested and, uh, you know, kind of, you know, fighting for first amendment rights, uh, back in a time where people would, were literally getting arrested for saying things in clubs, uh, that wasn't even that crazy wasn't even that crazy uh so yeah so so much of this show uh, revisiting it uh the characters are amazing in season three probably my favorite season so far and thankfully there's going to be a season four at some point when the coronavirus pandemic uh kind of goes away hopefully and uh tv shows and movies are able to start production again uh, but season three is amazing because all of the characters seem to be going through many changes. Um, and characters that I didn't like, I end up liking, uh, specifically her ex-husband, who's kind of uh, never really enjoyed him. Never really enjoyed him, you know, from the fact that he was stealing bits to... Like, he was trying to find shortcuts uh, to become famous. He just wanted... He, he, he never really cared about being a comedian. Um, and then he never really cared about, you know, his, his wife and kids. And, you know, they ended up after they breaking up, he, you know, he, he definitely makes a turn in season three, especially when he goes to, he wants to open a club. Like there's, there was an aspect of what he was doing when he was doing stand up that he did like, and part of it was the club aspect and just being around the people that perform. And it's like, you know. So him going through trying to open up this club and he meets uh, a new love interest like I, I it's a character change that I didn't expect coming to where by the end of season three, I was a fan. I was a fan. And his connection to uh, Midge, I think it's Midge, right? Is that her is that her nickname? Um, Mrs. May. Yeah, Midge. Uh, his connection to Midge, I, I enjoyed um but yeah, so season three also takes Midge on tour for the first time. She opens up for, she's doing 20 minutes opening set for Shy. I think it's what, Shy Daniels? Am I, uh, who's like a, a lounge singer guy, black dude, um, which I, en- you know, I enjoy the casting. He's, uh, I don't know if he he's actually singing those songs, but uh, great actor. I think the person they casted, I think, is great in it. Uh, as shy and uh, he's like a temperamental uh, singer performer and uh, so she goes on tour with him so you get to see her uh, kind of learning a new aspect of what it is to be a comedian her manager is amazing uh see her name here uh alex bornstein susie meyerson is her character name uh she's amazing as a manager uh, she picks on a new. She gets picks up a new client in season three, who is the kind of the big, one of the big comedians of the time, who's basically doing a Larry the Cable Guy type of act 
where she when she's on stage her character her comedy character is this overweight housewife brash foul-mouthed right kind of uh almost a roseanne type of archetype of comedy but then she's actually this prim and proper super wealthy uh lady who uh just puts on this character uh which there's a big kind of rivalry with her and mrs mazel uh but her manager ends up uh picking her up which her manager is amazing because she's like she's like this hard-nosed chick that you know she's she she's been through she knows the other side the dirty side of business especially in new york especially in these times where you know there's a lot of criminal which i'm sure is no no different than today it's just dressed up a little bit differently the criminal element that kind of uh invades businesses and, and whatnot but yeah this whole season was amazing there's like there's writing in this se- like i mean just the dialogue in general through most of this it's like so peppy so like high paced um but so well written too like there's th- other changes that happen like the dad becomes wants to become this rebellious person cuz he sees comedy he's like oh like you know he has this he has this confrontation with uh midge and she's telling her dad that it's like you don't even know what people are fighting for when it comes to free speech because he's this he's this literature teacher that kind of feels uh just like his his life is just flatlined he's not doing anything he doesn't have the zest for life that he did uh when he he thought he was going to change the world as a kid and after seeing midge do stand up and after seeing lenny bruce do stand up and seeing you know kind of that there is still this rebellious nature where he's actually in a club he goes to a club to watch lenny bruce perform and while lenny bruce is getting uh arrested he stands up to kind of defend him and while standing up to defend him he he gets arrested himself and that kind of uh lights the fire under his ass and he you know kind of tries to do a newspaper with these college kids and trying to be rebellious and use the fact that he got arrested as kind of this this kind of starting off point for it which that ends up falling through uh but by the end he ends up falling in love with being a critic because he he writes the story of this other performer that he knows and he, you know he trashed him and he was able to get such a reaction from that trashing of this artist that the artist i think the artist like threw tomatoes at him and and was angry at him and like because he was able to get that reaction he got he he like got a taste for what it is that he can just be a critic now and it's almost like the dad is becoming the super villain to midge like i can imagine in season 4 at some point the dad is going to write a scathing article on midge or potentially somebody midge works with i don't know but there's going to be i could see some drama happening in in that but his arc in season f- in season 3 was pretty amazing and then where it ends up it's like oh shit oh shit and midge herself going on tour with a a temperamental artist uh who ends up who regularly kind of gets uh emotional and uh fires everybody he ends up firing her i think it's the last episode where he tells her that uh she's out because she did they were in his hometown and his manager told her to go out there and just talk about shy talk about the guy you know and the guy she knows is uh kind of he's i i don't know if he's gay necessarily but he has those kind of uh feminine qualities let's say and uh despite her crushing uh with her set making everybody laugh about you know um these jokes about shy he didn't like it and he ends up firing her uh at the end of the thing so i don't know and i like shy i liked his entourage i liked uh his manager this whole show really reminds me of the show entourage in a lot of ways because it's showing you kind of behind the scenes uh of of show business in a lot of ways it is like an alternate universe of of entourage like if entourage was really well written and uh set in the the late 50s early 60s and you know there's a much more diverse cast it's led by a woman like there'd be a lot of that's why it's it's a it's a few universes 
uh, down the road from where Entourage would exist. But it's still a very similar thing where it's like these these challenges arise while being a performer, while being in uh, the quote unquote show business. And, uh, you know, you see them work through it. You see them kind of, you know, sometimes landing on their feet, sometimes not. But it's very similar in a lot of ways uh, to Entourage. Uh, but just a way better version. Like Entourage is like perfect for, you know, uh, mindless entertainment. This is uh, a bit more thoughtful, a bit more thoughtful and a bit well, more well crafted. Even the, I mean, even from the settings to the wardrobes, to the dialogue, to the storylines, to the acting. Everything I I love every bit of this the show and I can't wait for uh, season two um, or season four I'm sorry um, but yeah it's just a, a great a great show that everybody should watch and if you don't have uh, Amazon Prime you can watch it for free InspiredDisorder.com/slash/prime get thirty days free to binge the three seasons of the marvelous Mrs Maisel. Make sure you go support our sponsors, StationHouseCoffee.com, and follow Station House Coffee on Instagram for small batch, single origin, premium coffee, brewed in Vermont, shipped directly to you. Go to StationHouseCoffee.com and order your coffee today. Also, get Amazon Prime for 30 days absolutely free when you go through my link, InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. You can stream all of the Amazon Prime movies and TV shows. You can borrow Kindle books, and you get unlimited free two-day shipping on all of your orders through Amazon. When you sign up for your free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime with my link, InspiredDisorder.com slash Prime. New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Binge the full week ad-free over at patreon.com slash inspired disorder. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at inspireddisorder.com and follow the show on Instagram at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!